How's it going, guys? Today we're going to be talking about another cheesy B-movie sequel that has quite the reputation. Today I'm going to be talking about Chud 2, Bud the Chud, also known, or Chud stands for, some people also call it C-H-U-D 2, Bud the C-H-U-D for some reason. It stands for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. This is a sequel, but has no no one from the original working on it or anything like that. It's an independent sequel. Um, yeah, that's supposed to follow up after the, <laughs> the other movie. It was released September 27, 1989, starring Brian Robbins and Bill Calvert. Produced by Jonathan D. Crane. Uh, written by Ed Nah Naha. And directed by David Irving, who has also done other films like a lot of other B movies, like The Emperor's New Clothes, Blood by Cruel, Good Oh Goodbye Cruel World, uh, Rumpelstiltskin, Sleeping Beauty, the nineteen eighty seven one, that's like the TV version, and a whole pile of other B movie stuff. Um, so Chud Two is um, like I said, it's a sequel to Chud, which uh was a pretty big smash hit in the mid 80s so like a year or two later it came out with the sequel this one is quite different um <laughs> yeah this is a horror comedy uh so basically some teens uh actually destroy a cadaver at their school and their science classes and stuff so they go to the um disease control center which looks like a hospital, and they find Bud, the shot in there, but they don't know it. So they take him and they throw, they uh, sneak it out of the facility somehow, and uh, basically hide it in one of the guys' parents' bathrooms. <laughs> and then uh, one of them drops a hair dryer, and it revives him, and he goes on a uh, zombie-like killing spree through the town. And uh, it's up to the teens to stop him because he basically starts biting people, making other people turn into zombies. And the military is slowly looking for him too after they got wind of him going on, uh, wind of him disappearing. So overall, it's a good um, concept for a sequel, I thought. But this one, they kind of made it more just a straightforward zombie film where... That he was a bud was a mutant in the first one and stuff. So overall, this film though is very entertaining. And some of the jokes don't really go to well and stuff like that, but they definitely it's definitely really entertaining. The cast definitely put the heart and soul into it because all of them are pretty entertaining in this film. It does have basic a basic zombie type plot to it, but overall, uh. It's interesting. It's cool to see. It's funny watching Bud get reanimated and starts walking around, bites the family dog, and does aerobics and stuff like that. And a lot of funny little cheesy things like that. Um, yeah, and uh, but it gets pretty generic for the most part. But it, there is some humorous parts to it, like people not realizing that he's a zombie and stuff like that. But <laughs> it's uh, very, very cheesy and schlocky. Uh, definitely amongst that time it definitely feels like an 80s film and it's you can definitely tell and it definitely has a special little charm to it because it'll hook you in even if uh certain things don't please you and stuff like that now i gotta say the makeup effects in this uh kind of dull and not really zombie looking it kind of lackluster but uh yeah some of the other effects though that they do they like they blow up a truck with a pistol somehow in it and there's some cool expl a lot of cool explosions and like the ending scene where they blow up most of the zombies and stuff in a pool with nitrogen and stuff that was pretty was pretty interesting um a lot of the characters are fun and they most of them have a purpose there's a couple in there that are just written in there like the parents and stuff like that for comic relief but overall it was enjoyable i was pretty impressed with this this was my first time seeing this one but i heard a lot about it and i'm like i have to check it out so i found it checked it out and it it's pretty interesting uh not like i said not everything's laugh out loud and the zombie makeup effects weren't the greatest but um definitely the cast the acting 
and the way it was all presented and put together, you could definitely get a lot of heart and soul was put into it. But it is pretty generic. So don't go in there thinking you're going to find something spectacular, some hidden, unknown, interesting plot that most people haven't uncovered. It's your typical zombie movie, but try to slap a name on it and try to benefit from that because that's also one thing I was disappointed about is that it wasn't actually uh, a cannibalistic humanoid um, creature hidden from society. It's just a zombie. So... Uh, other than that, though, it was still fun, even though it didn't really have anything to do with the first one. And it was just a fun time. It could probably just stand on its own, technically, if it had a different title. So, yeah. But, overall, I had a fun time watching it. I'm going to give this one 3.5 out of 5. I already told you why, what it could be improved upon. So, I'm not going to re-say re any of that. And, um, yeah. But there's a trailer down below if you want to check it out. I just wanted to come on here to help spread the word and get more people revitalized this. It's one of those best drawn releases. So a lot of their stuff, a lot of uh, horror fans are finding them and giving them some love and stuff finally. Even though after they've been like bankrupt and obsolete for like 20 years or so. But yeah, and best drawn, if you don't know, is the company that put out Dirty Dancing. So yeah, but... They made their name in horror. So, yeah, they also did Maximum Overdrive and stuff like that. But I'll talk about those in some other videos. But overall, Bud the Chud, uh, Chud 2, Bud the Chud, is definitely worth the watch. So, at least. Trailer's linked down below, like always. My Instagram is always linked down below, too. I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So, make sure you follow me there. I usually I try to hide the title of the film somewhere in a hashtag just for fun. So, if you want to try to find it, yes. Or guess and see what I'm reviewing. Or just want to see what I'm up to. Uh, make sure you follow me there. On Instagram. Also hide the. I also put the type, uh, subgenre. Of the films. In my story. So make sure you. On there too. So make sure. You follow me there. Stay in the loop. And I also do that. Just so no one complains. And everything like that. And we can all live peacefully. Um, yeah. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Like this video. Share it so more people are aware of it. Uh, comment down below your opinions on the film if you've seen it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because you never know what I'm going to talk about next. And if you have any other films you want to hear my opinions on at all, any films at all, comment them down below. I'll try my script them as soon as I can and if I can find them. So, yeah, but with that, another good sequel. I think it's time to go find some lesser-known B-movies to talk about and stuff like that so i'm trying my hardest to find some interesting ones to bring to you until the next one cheers